Holacious, how's it going Bubba? So today I'll be showing you how to create a hard to raid solo player base. Now this is designed to be as small as possible and cost the least amount of resources. So let's get right to it. Because it's such a small base, you can pretty much put it down anywhere. I'm going to build it right here. You want to start off by placing the foundation somewhat high up. Enough so you can at least jump on top of the foundation like so. And now you want to start placing walls all the way around your base except for one side which will be your entrance. Go ahead and put a door down there and place your ceilings. You can now start upgrading everything and even throw a lock down on that door. Now you really want to upgrade your door to armored. It shouldn't take very long to get the high quality metal needed for it, but if you cannot afford it, at least upgrade it to sheet metal. But we're going to upgrade it to armored. The shell of your base is now complete, but we are not done yet. First off, you want to place down a sleeping bag just past the, the first floor leading into the second floor, uh, just right in front of it, like so. That should be good enough. Now pull out your building plan, place down a half block, jump on top of the half block, pull out a square floor, place that down, and then destroy the half block. Okay, so now we just built ourselves a shelf which we could place chests upon and stuff below it. Pull out your tool cabinet and tuck it right in the corner underneath the shelf. And now go ahead and place a furnace down right next to it. And now you want to jump on top of the shelf, pull out a large chest or even a small chest would do, and tuck it as close to the wall and the cabinet as possible and place it down. Now you want to back up to the edge of the shelf, pull out yet another large chest, and then place it down so it sticks to the wall just a little bit, but not enough so you can loot it from the outside. Now you can go ahead and place down a doorway, and then place down a door on that doorway, and feel free to upgrade it. Crawl under your little shelf here into your little cubby hole. Feel free to place down a small chest right next to the cabinet, and then maybe another one right next to that. Okay, the inside of your base is almost complete. You now have two large chests, two small chests, a tool cabinet, a furnace, and even if you want to, you can place a campfire inside here too. And now you have everything that you need tucked away into this little room. And this space is really compact too, but we're not even done yet, because someone could throw two C4 on this wall and get into our main room there. So make yourself three high external stone walls and place one on each wall of your building except for your doorway. And there we have it, the outside of your base is pretty much complete. The minimum amount of C4 that they could use is 4C4, unless they build themselves a human tower to get on top of your base, which would require at least 4 members to get on top of. One possible way to mitigate against people building a human tower and getting on top of your base and only using 2C4 to break in is to place down metal barricades on top of your base. Alright, so now when people human tower themselves on top of your base, they cannot blow straight through the ceiling. They now have metal barricades blocking their way. You can use wooden barricades, but metal barricades last a lot longer. And also, here's a little bit of a tip. You can place down bear traps on top of this wall. And there is a little bit of gap within your wall here. You can do a better job spacing out these high external stone walls. Or maybe you can place down a bear trap down here. So if any raider falls down, they will have a nice surprise. Here's what it would look like with wooden barricades. But you don't have to worry about this too, too much because the only way they can get up here is if they had four people and they still have to use 3 or 4 C4 to blow into your base. I doubt you'll have anything worth that amount of C4 in your base. So if anything, the Raiders will be losing resources and time by trying to blow into your base. And the reason why we didn't place stairs leading up into our home is because it would only take two people to jump on top of your roof where now there's this little bit of a drop, this space, it requires four. So there it is guys, this is a very solid solo player base. The amount of resources used on this base is about 4,300 stones, 750 wood, and about 1,500 metal fragments if you use three metal barricades on top of your base. So that's the end video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope I helped out some solo players out there in Ross to get started off a little bit better. I know you can't really branch this base off into something bigger, but this will definitely help you get started in Ross. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to have a fantastic day. I know that one. Now I'll see you guys all later. The Ewoks! I ran into a pack of Ewoks earlier today. It was frightening. Oh no! Oh no! It's the damn Ewoks! Fuck me, I'm dead! I, I apologize. We are just here to harvest resources, not to kill. He- Oh, son of a bitch!